hello and welcome i am raghav and today we are going to see some very common performance testing tool and we are going to compare them against each other and we are going to see some of their parameters so in this list we are going to see apache g meter load runner gatling web load blaze meter new load locust k6 now these are the some very commonly used performance testing tool there are some others as well but in this particular session i am taking these tools and we are going to compare these tools for the following parameters we are going to see the pricing whether these are paid or commercial the support for scripting languages what is the protocol what are all the protocols supported by these tools we are going to see the reporting options present in all these tools we will see how is the community support for all these tools and how easy are these to use do they have integrations support that means can these be supported with any third party tools or libraries or cloud support and we are also going to see whether they have option to run the tests from command line now i have created this to the best of my knowledge and after researching online in case you find any information is incorrect or missing you can let me know in the comment section below so let's get started and let us first start with jmeter now jmeter is one of the widely used performance testing tool it is a very common performance testing platform and it is free and open source so it's completely free and open source it is created with java it supports java javascript bean shell etc and there are some other plugins as well that you can add to jmeter and you can get support for different programming languages that means you can use all these languages to uh, create your scripts or to add any features in your test plan then when we talk about the protocols supported in jmeter now jmeter has a wide range of protocols it includes all the http and https requests and that will include all the web applications and all the api and web services uh, ftp jdbc tcp all the possible protocols are there in jmeter when we talk about reporting in jmeter we have listeners that provides the options for reporting and here we have all the uh, commonly used reporting formats like you can get reports in csv or xml or html or json etc there are also options where you can create some uh, very good graphs in jmeter when we talk about community support so in jmeter because it is a free and open source tool there is a very large community there is a very large and active community support for jmeter it is easy to use it is ha it has a good uh, ui and using the ui of jmeter you can create your test plan and then you can run it from the ui or also it has the command line options and yes we can do integrations as we have the command line options uh, we should be able to integrate it with third party tools or softwares or platforms so this was jmeter when we talk about load runner it is also a very commonly used performance testing tool it is a commercial tool and the languages the native languages or the primary languages it supports are uh, c java dotnet vb script you can also get support from other languages and when we talk about protocols it can support so it has it also has a wide range of protocols including http https ftp rest citrix etc and then reporting as well it has uh, all the major reporting formats available html csv xml etc it also has a large and active community so uh, having a large community always helps because whenever you are stuck with anything on that platform or the tool you just have to you know go online and search and you will get a lot of options a lot of solutions there it also has a very good ui and it is very easy to use you can do integrations and it has options to run the test from command line then let us come to gatling now gatling is a free and open source tool now there is also a paid or a commercial version of gatling called gatling enterprise however it is completely separate and uh, you can use it if you want some more features some more reporting options monitors etc however if you want to stay with gatling free and open source version you can do that and create your complete performance testing 
project with Catlink open source version and it has support for Scala, Java and Kotlin programming languages. Uh, it has support native support for HTTP and HTTPS protocols but then you can also add more protocols. Uh, basically using Gatling we create our own scripts so we can uh, do a lot of customizations we can add a lot of protocols there. Then we have options for HTML and JSON reporting and then we can add some more plugins and add support for other reporting formats as well. It has an active community. The ease of use is moderate. It does not have a, a direct UI where you can just you know click some buttons, add some things, drag and drop uh, things here and there and you will have your uh, test created. You will have to add some code. Uh, you will have to add some scripts. Although there is a recorder available, you can record and get the scripts generated for you. But still, you will have to you know do uh, have to go inside the scripts and um, add few things there. So the ease of use is moderate here. It supports command line mode so you can run from command line and therefore it can also be integrated with other third party tools, software, CI, CD systems etc. When we talk about web load, web load is a commercial tool. Its native language support is JavaScript and it has support for protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, WebSocket. It also has SAP and Oracle Forms protocol support. And we can get reporting reports in HTML, PDF, CSV. Uh, there is a moderate community support. It is not so popular like uh, JMeter, Loadrunner, or Gatling, but still, it is a uh, it has a good support for community from community. And then the ease of use is moderate for web load, uh, and it has options for command line integration or command line runs and then it can also we can also do integrations with any ci cd systems or third party tools and software in web load coming to place meter place meter is again a commercial tool although there are some uh, plugins available for place meter that you can use freely on browsers like chrome however the the complete product that is place meter is a commercial tool and in place meter you can use your uh, you can use the place meter ui and you know create your test you can add the users virtual users there on the ui itself you can you know add how much time you want to run it for you can add the engines you can also add the uh, geographical distribution everything you can do from the ui and then you can use your existing tests from tools like jmeter or gatling or torus selenium etc and you can just directly add them to BlazeMeter. For example, if you have a JMeter test, you can get the GMX file and upload on BlazeMeter and you will have your entire test there. And then you can do the customizations, uh, increase, decrease users, add ramp up, ramp down, and all the possible things you can do and then directly run your test. So that is great with, with BlazeMeter. It provides a lot of features over your existing uh, performance testing platforms and then um, it has all the possible protocols http ftp soap rest jms jdbc etc we have options to create reports in html csv xml json etc it also has a large and active community it is easy to use there is a very good ui and you can do everything from there you can do integrations and then we have options to run from command line as well Coming to NeoLoad, NeoLoad is a commercial tool. Its native language is JavaScript, support is for JavaScript. And then it has protocol support for HTTP web sockets. It also has SAP and Oracle forms support. We can get reports in HTML, PDF, CSV, XML, etc. It has a large and active community. It is easy to use. There is a UI. You can very quickly and easily create your tests. Uh, we can run the test from command line and then it can be integrated with CI CD systems and any other third party systems. Then coming to Locust. Now, Locust is free and open source tool and its native language is Python. So if you want to use a tool which has the native languages, Python, Locust can be a good option for you. Then it has support for all the uh, a lot of protocols like HTTP and S 
वेब सॉकेट्स एफ टी पी टी सी डी एक्सेट्रा वी हैव ऑप्शन फॉर रिपोर्टिंग इन एच टी एम एल एंड सी एस वी एंड दे कैन बी अदर ऑप्शन एज वेल इट हैज़ ए एक्टिव कम्यूनिटी इट इज़ ईजी टू यूज दर इज ए यू आई यू कैन यूज एंड देन वी कैन डू कमैंड लाइन रन एंड देन ऑल्सो डू इंटीग्रेशन कमिंग टू के सिक्स के सिक्स इज अ कंपेरेटिवली न्यूअर टूल देन द अदर्स ऑल दो इट हैज़ बीन देयर सिंस ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन and it is a free and open source tool its primary language is javascript it also has support for a wide range of protocols like http and as and web sockets and tcp and ftp etc we can get reports in html uh, json csv etc there is a good community it is easy to use then we have the options for command line runs and then also all the possible integrations with third party tools or systems can be done so you can see this is the complete picture this is the complete chart if you want you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you and it can help you to uh, select the right automation to, uh, tools for you the right performance testing tools for you and uh, you can see here all these tools have support for command line runs which is very important and generally you will find all the tools having this this will help you to uh, you know make your run your test quickly and also do integrations with other systems so this is how we can uh, compare all these performance testing tool all these tools so i hope this was very useful for you if you have any questions you can let me know in the comment section below also if you found anything missing or incorrect in this video you can let me know in the comment section below and i will answer you as soon as i can i will see you in the next session thank you for watching and never stop learning